I have a feeling somebody's watching me. All right, these are just chickens. <laughs> All right, hello everyone and welcome. It's Keeper MC and we continue our boring part of the journey through the ocean in a hope to find out a good safe spot. And I'm still traveling. Well, I'm at last happy to see some new biomes I never seen previously. For example, this super massive trees in probably taiga or something like that but of course yeah for now the task remains the same escape as only far as we only could up until the moment we will feel safe to so settle down for a moment in the ideal case scenario of course it would be a place where we could find a village because yeah i still i'm still looking forward to trade with those villagers uh, in order to get some resources uh, and also, of course, try to en enhance some items, because, of course, uh, the iron set with nothing on it is not the best protection we can afford, and in case if we are planning to go to the nether, of course, it will also require us some uh, more powerful defense tools, let's say, and of course, with some fire protection, blast protection, and stuff like that. So, lots of things to be done, but for now, we are just flying away. The only need need for us now is just to escape. We already managed to mine a lot of good things. I'm currently trying to carry it together like with me. But that's alright. Some of them goods left in our in our like previous base. But as I mentioned we could attempt to recover those things uh, with the help of another because myself I was like not traveling much through the nether, uh, especially outside the highways, which is actually this case now. So it could be quite interesting to try it out to see if it's actually possible to just uh, run through it or we will actually need to dig the tunnel through it. We'll see. But in any case for now, while we are swimming, we are still seeing pretty much uh, of player activity as long as we see any land. So it still doesn't feel safe for us to stay. And therefore, I'm going to continue swimming for I don't know how much time, and I'll get back to you once we will find anything interesting on our way. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so... <sighs> well, I hope we are slowly approaching a different biome, where we could actually try to travel not only using a boat, but maybe also on our hands. <laughs> on our legs. <laughs> yeah, of course. And... Of course we can also try to swim our boat by the ice. Like, boat skating. Wow. I wonder if you know how we live in Tokyo. Um, can we? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's just drifting. Boom. Probably too fast. Well, that's really funny, actually. And actually quite fast. Um... Okay, so, enough playing. <laughs> um, I still need to drop my bucket off to empty one cell of my inventory. Then carefully punch the, punch the boat up until the moment I'll take it. Exit the water and I see nothing, that's why it, it's so difficult take our bucket back and then just drift away. Boom. Okay, that would be too cool. If we would be also able to swim by the land with the same speed. Well, not the land, but specifically snow in this case. But yeah, we're still going. 
still hitting them every corner. Still taking up our boat, therefore dropping the bucket. Okay, so, yeah, it's funny to slide on the ice <laughs> with the boat, but okay. We still need to go. There's so many things to be done, and unfortunately they are not to be done right here. As you can see, so many random blocks appear, meaning that the players eventually are passing by. And of course that's not something we want to see in the place we are settling. And of course, the previous emergency video was of course also related to the same thing. I was really shocked to see the sheep without the wool and like those uh, skeleton weapons dropped on the ground under the tree specifically. So yeah, it could be that actually somebody just went through, maybe also playing vanilla uh, without the cheats and that's why maybe we got lucky to not to encounter them. Maybe not, maybe it all happened really a while ago, we'll never know. But it's better safe than sorry, so... Especially with such amount of diamonds and emeralds. <laughs> so that's why we are going away. Yeah, and it takes us forever to go, because yeah, we are not using nether, unfortunately. Speaking of which, we suddenly got a portal. Should we or should we not? Well, let's leave our boat, right? Uh, it's not something I meant to do. Okay, so... Let's leave our... Oops. Sorry, I'm just... My hands are glitching. So, let's drop the bucket of water. Go back to take our boat. Swim back to put it on water, so it's not under it. And leave it for somebody else, because our inventory is full. <sighs> well, and I think... We may try to fasten our travel. Because I'm starting to slightly getting like... Little bit, tiny bit of annoyed. Of the oceans. I mean, water is cool, water is life, but it just takes us too long. So let's see if there's anything in the nether, and maybe we can travel this way. Alright, so the exit portal... No, 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 don't... The exit portal itself is interesting because it's not too... Uh, well, it actually is too. The enter portal was not too raised like... 3? I think it was like 3x3. Three, three three. So yeah, never mind. In any case, we, <coughs> we have encountered some sort of... A, well, not a highway, but just a road. Somewhere, with some piglins already. And I think we need to double check the coordinates and see if we can actually travel via nether. Because of course doing one block here is eight blocks in the upper world. So it would only be a good idea for us to use these mechanics for our advantage. The only risk for now is that we are not having any nether with us or any obsidian with us. And we might end up in a case that uh, we will actually have no portal to escape. And of course you're not able to put the water on the lava <laughs> in the in the nether because water will simply evaporate. So actually it could be a good idea maybe to utilize our pickaxe in full. Or maybe we can try to repair it with one diamond. and get some more obsidian in case if we will need yeah that would be fair enough 
in case if we would need uh, to build the exit portal ourselves because that's actually a, a good note it would be really 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 funny if I would like went through the nether like I don't know 20k or something suddenly will exit somewhere where, where there's nothing not the exit actually it ended up somewhere where there's nothing no player activity no portals no nothing and realize that I have no portal to exit no obsidian no nothing and it would only mean that I will need to go back and of course that's not something we would love to do so instead let's just grab some obsidian so it will be enough for us to build a portal uh, usually I'm building the portal like a full square so not using those like uh, cut off edges so I'm using like four blocks uh, five blocks four and five like the full one but of course currently we only need to make sure that it will be activated so we will be able to use it so we will not focus on that quantity much so yeah let's try our best in the nether and of course yeah obsidian for now is taking like forever to be mined that's okay, this is our first diamond pickaxe, so no complaints about that. Well, we probably could add some enchantments to it by using the simply enchantment table without the books, but of course it would not be that strong, so maybe let's not waste any experience orbs. So, well, again we are ready to go. Well, I will not keep my water bucket now in the inventory because it makes uh, zero sense to use it. Instead, I think I will put an ender pearl. So in case if we will end up in lava, I will only need to quickly teleport away from it and then just wait while the fire will uh, get off me. Because, yeah, of course we will not have a chance to use a water bucket in the nether. So, I will check the coordinates quickly, and then we will continue our way through the nether, first time ever. Hopefully we will get lucky enough. Okay. Well, the approximate direction is known, so we can try to do our best to run through it, because of course, as you can see, our players were trying to find out those bastions or like how they're called mansions bastions no idea and of course they cheated out through the whole nether trying to find those places and of course at some point it's good for us because we have lots of ways to go through we don't need to dig anything manually but at the same time of course it is a little bit annoying to see that Even in the nether, there's a nether egg laying out somewhere it was not supposed to. Somebody tried probably to build something. Interesting. But nothing is left, so we are moving. Yeah, let's try to not to catch any fire on ourselves but instead proceed with going further because we have still lots of blocks to pass by yeah and that's one of the things I'm super worried about I hope we will not face any huge lava lakes because I really don't want to mine the netherrack and just try to, to, to pass it that way it will be super slow in any case and of course if you won't get lucky and the um, uh, netherrack suddenly will glitch then for sure you will be just pushed off it right into the lava that's also something we would not love to see happening and how do I get down 
Well, I think we could make it alive in one piece if we would just try to fall down. Uh, but I'm not really sure if I would like to try. But I also don't want to go around any of these structures. Hmm. Okay, do we have... Okay, of course we don't. And, guys, please don't push me off that cliff, okay? If you wish, I can also help you. No, 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 don't... Don't... Oof, stop! Ah, why are you doing this? I was trying to help you. See? No. <laughs> and I hope I won't punch at him. It will be so bad. I really want to help you guys. Stop doing this. No, please don't fall. Come on. I want to put a block for your convenience. You see? Go away, please. Both of you. Yes, you too. Please go away. What are you looking at? Punk. Follow your friend, please. Oh. Thank you. So stressful with those piglins. So it's not that too it's not too far to fall. So maybe let's reduce it by two more blocks. Well it seems to be fair enough. Okay. Now we just need to be a little bit more careful. in terms of not burning ourselves down. Of course, eating some food to restore the health. Um, and we actually n are not having much. Well done. <laughs> I tried. Okay, so I see that there's a staircase going right up and there was a portal. So let's try to see when it, when it starts, actually. It should be somewhere over there, probably. Actually speaking about food, if we are stuck in the nether and we have some wood, we can actually make some soup. Well, of course, meaning that we will need to have some space in our inventory. So maybe let's try to grab the first rooms, just in case if we'll end up stuck in the nether. At last we won't starve. Is there any way up? I actually need a way up. Um, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, probably it's just some sort of a random road. So yeah, guys, probably it won't be our <laughs> the most successful attempt to do something about the nether. Yeah, suddenly I realized that it's actually not that easy, especially without any food supplies, because we are not having that much. And I'm not sure if I really want to cook that stew every time, because those shrooms are also might end up quite limited, so we'll need to find a new one, or maybe wait for them to appear, to grow. So it could be quite annoying, to be honest. But still, I still... I mean, I kind of like the idea, traveling through the nether, 
but it just seems that we are not that ready. I mean, I'm just having too full inventory, not having much of experience, and I'm just afraid to die out there. So yeah, many aspects asking me to stop. And of course we are getting lost, so the only way is to dig straight. Yeah. So I think I will try my best to find the way out the portal we seen when we were like uh, down on the ground a few minutes ago. And uh, probably I will see you outside. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.